What's a guy to do? My gaming laptop is too heavy to take with me, and my thin and light is not powerful enough to do what I need it to do. Well, Valve came to the rescue and fulfilled my Steam Deck order. I'll be honest, as much as I love gaming on the Steam Deck, I was more interested in what an x86 handheld could do outside of gaming. I figured I would bring it to work and play games on my lunch break, but that's when I tend to want to edit content. So I grabbed my trusty USB-C dock, plugged it in, and I was pleasantly surprised. I installed KDEN Live on the desktop mode and I used it to edit this video. Insert video here. It wasn't nearly as nice an experience as using Premiere Pro like I'm used to, but there was relatively little lag and I think the end product was fine. For your average user or new content creator, the free video editors that you can get on Linux are more than capable of doing everything that you need them to do, but I wasn't satisfied. Editing on this software was possible, sure, but it wasn't a compromise that I was willing to make long term. So I got myself a 256 gigabyte micro SD card, I installed Windows on it, I put it in the Steam Deck, and to my surprise, it ran rather well. The drivers leave a bit to be desired, but Valve has been upfront about the fact that they are not making drivers for Windows for the Steam Deck. I'll be honest, I was surprised at the stability and just how well things ran in spite of this fact. Even if audio only works over HDMI and doesn't work through the built-in 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or the built-in speakers. I figured with the lack of driver support, running Adobe Creative Suite would be a bit of a leap but I pay Adobe damn good money, so I figure they owe it to me for their software to work on the Steam Deck. I installed it, assuming it would be buggy or unstable or laggy, if it ran at all. So imagine my surprise when both Premiere Pro and Photoshop appear to run flawlessly. Photoshop pops up a message when you open it saying that there may be bugs due to unsupported hardware, but I haven't encountered any of them and I have encountered zero stability issues. Zero. And I use this thing multiple days a week for about an hour at a time to edit videos and thumbnails and memes and other sort of content creation things. I have been happy with all of it. If I'm being honest, the experience using the Steam Deck as a desktop has actually been better than when I was using my laptop at work. My MacBook Pro didn't have a USB-C port, so I couldn't connect it to my monitor or mouse or keyboard at work, but the Steam Deck does. Even though it's not Thunderbolt, it still runs HDMI and USB and everything over the USB-C port. I can't show footage from my workplace because of privacy policy there, but I will show you how it runs connected to my old work from home setup. It's fantastic and it's actually really convenient because I can just tuck it away behind the monitor or off to the side in a way that a bulkier laptop wouldn't fit on its small desk. It's honestly surprising how well the Steam Deck works as a desktop. Hour for hour, I probably use this thing twice as much for productivity as I do for gaming. You can't buy a laptop with these specs for this price. It's obvious that Valve is subsidizing the hardware and you should definitely take advantage, especially if you don't have a good computer right now. If I didn't already own a really nice desktop and a really nice laptop, I would actually be comfortable using this as my main computer. I would just have a dock set up with all of my peripherals attached to it and plug it in whenever I want to use it, then unplug it when I want to take it on the go or do some gaming. My only regret was buying the 256 gigabyte model. 256 gigabytes of internal storage is just not enough. I should have gone for the 512 gig model, but before I bought it, how was I supposed to know that this thing would end up becoming my portable workstation? Really, Valve should be offering a one terabyte or two terabyte model. As soon as my warranty is expired, I am absolutely upgrading the internal storage. It's the first thing I'm gonna do. So do you have a Steam Deck that you use for non-gaming purposes? Let us know in the comments what you use it for. Do you not have a Steam Deck, but have some ideas for things that aren't gaming you would like to see if it can do? If we see anything good, we'll make sure to make a follow-up video trying out all of your suggestions. I would love to test out just how versatile this machine is. I'm already pleasantly surprised and very happy with the purchase. And if you like this type of content, please check out our other videos. There's so much good stuff on this channel, especially if you're into retro tech. And of course, if you wanna support the channel, you can join our Patreon for just $1 a month. You can get your name in the credits. Andy, David G, Larry C, Justin M, Ron's Computer Vids, Jason S, Adam M, Group Ride, Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, Trina C, Garth B, Mac84, Ethan P, Ron R, and Rudy's Retro Intel.